Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com and this is my daily stock signals video for Monday the 15th of October where I go through and set up some of our signals. Uh, usually I just do one today, like Friday, I'm just going to look at another couple after this big uh, correction that we've had in the markets and then the stabilization we found on Friday. I just wanted to go through some potentials and how our scanner membership can really help with those. So in our members area, We have the potential to download potential long fifth waves and short fifth waves on the 60 minute, the daily and the weekly time frames. So this is what it looks like here. We just simply click on the image, download the spreadsheet. And for today, the daily time frame one is the one I'm going to concentrate again. Look at all of these potential fifth wave trades after that um, a uh, little bit of a bounce on Friday there so it's not over yet but this gives you an idea to start building your watch this is at the bottom of the spreadsheet you can see 60 minute and weeklies as well I'm gonna look at the daily time frame first so the first stock I'm going to look at is NVCR so big strong bullish trend and then last week we pulled back uh, for those that have our indicator suite this is the Elliott wave indicator suite for the ninja trader platform from wave5trade.com also available for trade station multi charts in a minute you'll see the think or swim platform um, but basically what we've got is we've isolated isolated these wave counts way down here in um, in February we've had the one the two then a the long wave three that's the big impulse leg and then the wave four is what we're really interested in right now so let's just zoom in quickly and have a look at that so this is not ready for a trade yet um, we don't want Friday to be a one-day wonder we need confirmation today on Monday but what we're looking at some main criteria here that the wave force pulled back into our automated target zone this green zone here that's a night 85 percent probably it's going to go on and make a new wave five high into our automated target zone around about 58 dollars there the wave four has performed well it's pulled back between 90 and 140 percent on our oscillator it's pulled back against the false breakout dots here on the top into the oversold zone it looks like it will cross on Monday so that's a good starting point also with Thursday's gap down and then Friday's gap up we've got this morning star pattern here which is a great um, reversal pattern but we need the confirmation day and Monday for me is the confirmation day we've got more earnings coming in and we need that high, high higher low on Monday and start to look for entries on Tuesday so we've got a hell of a lot of uh, potential uh, fifth wave long setting up we just need that confirmation day and swing trading is all about being patient and waiting for these corrections ensuring that we've got that um, good support and we're moving away so this morning star pattern here is fantastic it's a great rejection we got the gap up uh, you know everything is perfect but we need confirmation Monday then we can start to look for potential longs so MV, that's NVCR let's have a look at another example so this example is SGEN on the daily time frame again this is the indicator suite that we have for the think or swim version again we've got the lows down here um, we've got a really big ABC correction period here very range bound but then we start to move away and that's what we're interested in here so again we've had this pullback we've had the morning star pattern we had the gap down Friday uh, Thursday we had the gap up Friday we closed pretty green there this time it's pulled back quite deeply into our automated probability zones the red zones that's a 75 percent probability it's going to go on and make that new wave five high into our automated target zones there um, again we've got to be sensible we've got to wait for Monday to happen we're looking for the higher high higher low we're looking for confirmation but also here look at the stochastic We've got the false breakouts on the top here and the stochastics pulled back against then crossed over in the oversold zone. The 535 oscillator here has pulled back between 90 and 140 percent. And then additional to our on our think or swim platform at the moment, it will be available for the rest. We've got our multiple time frame dot cloud. You see the overall trend on the monthly time frame is green. I'm green now again on the weekly. And then we've got the three the four day the three day and the two day there as you'll see once that starts to move away we get the higher high higher low 
on uh, Monday we should start to see those all turning green again and we get the green square and that indicates a really strong bullish trend so two potential trades here but not for Monday when you have all these pullbacks our scanner membership identifies lots of potential trades but you need those supports to hold we've got a great three candlestick pattern on a lot of these stocks with this uh, morning star here uh, but we need confirmation as again so we're looking for monday's confirmation uh, i will repeat this and i repeat it all the time you've got to be patient when you swing trading wait sure you get that confirmation day and then start to look for your entries okay so that's it for today have a great trading day and i'll speak to you all tomorrow